All right, everyone, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle. And the luck we're going to take a look at this time is right here. The two and a half inch long shank Sherlock padlock, three eighths case hardened shackle, trucker tough. Now I'm guessing, see, this looks like a very generic uh, round body padlock. And I'm guessing trucker tough, they probably, this is something they'd probably hang in like a, uh, at a truck stop just to make it look like it's, uh, you know, just to just to uh, aim it at the uh, truckers, trucker tough. I mean, really, <laughs> aren't aren't they all? Uh, so yeah, something I found odd though on the back. I was reading it back. So Sherlock padlock right here. All steel with two anti-mar bumpers. I don't see any anti-mar bumpers, so I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. All steel with two anti-mar bumpers. Chrome plated, solid steel casing, two keys. Again, 3 8 inch shackle, maximum security. So yeah, anti-mar bumpers. I don't know what that is. But uh, anyways, uh, you all know probably by now, I collect these round body padlocks. Um, I've got probably over 30 different ones now. And uh, now I've got this one. Uh, but it was sent in to me very kindly by, uh, it goes by Jay Gabriel on YouTube. So Jay, thank you very much. Uh, he's always looking out for me when he goes places. If he sees a round body padlock, he'll pick it up for me. So Jay, thank you. So uh, let's pop into this bad boy right here. I don't think it's going to be that hard. Well, okay. We can just do this. There we go. So, we'll get that out of the way. So, let me see if we can get one of these off of here. Uh, these look like uh, Federal federal Lock keys. That key bow, just like on uh, Federal Locks. Except for right there, it says Made in Taiwan. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, double ball locking, yes it is, uh, and it is removable, the core is removable, so we may take a look at that. So yeah, case hardened shackle, I'll tell you what, let's take a look at that too. Let's put it to the test, shall we? We'll just go right down in here. Actually, it is. I'm just scratching the chrome. It's not digging in. So that is an, a hardened shackle. So yeah, thumbs up on that one. Right on. All right, so yeah, let's uh, tell you what. Let's see what it takes to pick into it. Let me see. Looks like a one, two, three, four, five, maybe a full six pack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it could have a full six pack in there. Got some high ones in the backside, so it could be pretty tricky. If they're security pins, it's going to be extra tricky. So let's see, tension tool. And let me just grab the Peterson gem. That's my favorite. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we got under the hood. See how hard it is to pick first, yeah? All right, some tension. And let's get a picking, huh? Start from the front, yeah. There we go. Five. So, yeah, I think there are security pins. I'm getting some counter rotation and whatnots. Yeah. Counter rotation.
Felt good. Kind of hard to set that booger in the back, I'll tell you what. There we go. Back up front with the counter rotation. Hopefully I didn't lose everything. Back into a false set there. Two. Three. I think it's all the way in the back. There we go. Woo! Yep, I do believe there's security pins in that one. All right, so let me grab the screwdriver. I'll tell you what, let's just find out. Wow, that was meant to stay in. Uh, yeah, I think there was some, uh, yep, Loctite on the screw. That was meant to stay. Get that out. There we go. Uh, there wasn't an anti-bypass wafer like this in there, but you didn't need it because uh, the keyhole's not going the the slot for the keyway is not going the same way as that lobe right there, so you don't really need it. So that's okay. All right, so let me grab a pin and tray. Bada boom, bada bang, right? Haven't done this in a little bit, I gotta admit. Alright, let's see if we can find something that's gonna fit. Ah, uh, I don't know why I keep trying to use that thing. Uh, it's so greasy, it's slipping out of my hand. Come on, baby. Good Lord. Okay, let's grab that key. And a follower. And a shim. Always, always use a shim. All right, we got a full six pack, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see that. Beautiful. All right, so you know how this goes. It's pretty boring to lay all these out. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit and we'll come back when I got them all laid out, all right?
All right, so we are back. Let me put my specs on here because I can tell you right now, this thing was chocked full of security pins. Very, very nicely done. So let's see, we've got uh, the key pins. We got serrated in one, two, three, four. These are too short to bother with that. And then the drivers, uh, we've got very nicely deep cut spools in two, three, four, five, and six. So really, really decent lock, I gotta tell you. Look how deep them spools are. Very nice. So yeah, you know, for a, uh, what, I don't even know if this was a, necessarily a brand. Trucker Tough. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, not a bad lock at all for not having a uh, name stamped into it by anybody. But yeah, Jay, thank you all. Thank you so much for uh, sending that in. Really, really nice lock and an awesome addition to my uh, round body paddle lock collection. Just noticed it's even got the grub screw so you can change out the length of the shackle on it. So yeah, really not bad at all. Uh, all right, so that's it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember, if you're not subscribed yet, you need to do so because uh, all the cool people are doing it and you don't want to be left out. All right, thank you.